hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video let's explore like whenever we install sidecore in our machine what all things get installed so if you are not installed please watch my previous video where we did a walkthrough on how to install sidecore 10.1 using uh, sidecore install assistant which is uh, uh, using ui so let's quickly explore like what all things get installed let me a notepad uh, there are a few things uh, get installed one is a uh, first application which are like a couple of websites as well as websites and a few window services remember this is we are talking about the uh, XP single uh, XP single, so which is a like uh, minimum topology for the developer workstation, and everything would be on the single machine. So, an application, couple of websites get installed as well as Windows services, and uh, storage, which means uh, databases, and also we get index. In this case, for us like Solar. So these are the things mainly it get installed. Let's quickly have a look. So first let's look at uh, websites. Let me open uh, INET Manager. So have a look at it. SC101, this is what our prefix is. So if I go back here and uh, open the websites, notice here sc101 identity server sc this one and x connect so if we are talking about here um, sidecar instance and uh, we get identity server as well as we get uh, x connect so sidecore instance is what we are browsing now so this is where like everything um, sidecore authoring environment as well as delivery environment would be installed so everything is in place for the content authors to come and log in and modify or create or modify uh, content and uh, identity server is one thing uh, from 9.2 i believe or somewhere around that uh, sidecore introduced because Sidecore is moving to that microservices based architectures and a lot of individual pieces are now present. If you are doing a publishing service separate, publishing service and XConnect is there and few other services. So all these services need to talk to each other and also need authentication in place as well. So that is the reason identity server is introduced. Uh, if you are not aware, identity server is that uh, popular .NET um, library or framework, identity framework. So which provides uh, OAuth, uh, OpenID Connect, all these protocols. So identity server also get installed and uh, XConnect. XConnect is as we are talking in the context of uh, experience platform, which is uh, XM plus analytics. So uh, all the analytics related work will be taken care by XConnect. So let me just go here, explore. So you would see that here, identity server, um, normal sidecore instance as well as XConnect. So I mean nothing much here, it would be a couple of uh, process and uh, identity server, all these libraries and all, all three would need a license for you, it get installed. So if you go to here and uh, sidecore runtime, you would have a license, the license of for that sidecore. If you go to normal site core instance, you would get app under app data, you would have the license. Similarly, if you go to X connect, you would have app data and under app data, you, you will have a license. So these three are the website instances. And uh, let's look at it. Let's look at uh, now Windows instances, sorry, Windows services couple of services also get installed which are like marketing automation and everything let me just 
quickly open it so you can check sidecore so you can just type sidecore because this is what the name is so sidecore marketing automation engine processing engine and xconnect search indexer just observe the uh, names here after the initial prefix you would have this uh, sc101 xconnect uh, dot local marketing automation service same processing engine service and as well as uh, same index worker so these three um, sorry these three uh, windows services gets installed so that's what it is marketing automation service processing processing engine service and uh, x connect index index worker which will take care of the, all the analytics uh, indexes rebuilders kind of a process let's quickly look at next piece so you got if you are uh, installing the uh, xp0 topology and in a local and this is what you get three websites and three window services storage you get a databases not going to list all of them you get uh, content as well as all the analytics related databases let's quickly look at it i'm going to open ssms so let it open in the meantime let's cover uh, indexes as well or, or it's open anyway so you can log in with any admin so then you can see databases i'm expanding there would be quite a bunch of them notice here whatever is prefix with sc101 those are all our databases so for this instance whatever we have installed so you got core exm forms marketing automation master messaging quite a bunch of them so and uh, xdb related collections analytics related so whichever is prefix with sc101 all these are databases so got created it creates i mean it stores uh, some of them stores content some of them stores uh, forms related and few of them have pure analytics so all these databases next one is uh, solar so if you remember we did get into trouble while setting up the solar that's the uh, same thing uh, so we did install under this folder sc10 and if you go inside you have 10.1.0 these all these uh, <coughs> application i mean installation files but remember we created a solar folder separately solar directory in this we installed uh, solar so solar you got all the <coughs> sorry uh, all the required files and uh, just let's check the indexes uh, let me open the solar service uh, sc101 yeah this is the one we have sc101 solar 8.4.0 so and also we got all the indexes right uh, yeah if we go to solar service then you can see here all the indexes got created you would have each database one index like core master and web then rest all fxm marketing related personalization suggestion so all these indexes got uh, created that is what we mean by when in the, i mean index and solar i mean this also gets like what are the service and indexes indexes and uh, windows service so these are all the things in a higher level get installed when we are installing xp0 so i hope you have a decent understanding now about all these things because even though when we are uh, i mean we don't need to bother much about all these things but as a developer we it is good to understand 
what is happening under the hood i mean ui is good like we just click click and uh, it get installed but we need to understand what are all the things got installed although there is uninstall script from sidecore if at all you want to clean up manually you can clean up all these things so that's it for this video thank you for watching see you next time